Todd and I started talking one day about, you know, it'd be so cool to shoot in the resort again and to showcase this iconic ski run, but with present day skiers and give Corbett's the due that it's worth. decided to be a good way to showcase the epicness of Jackson as a training ground and to showcase one of the most iconic runs here. Historically, Corbett's Coolar has been this mystical run. It's, it's one of these runs that everybody wants to tick off their checklist of things to do in their ski lifetime. It's pretty much been hooked for life. Best run in the world. We wanted to capture the essence and the aura of a big Corbett's Day when the general public is there and everyone's lined up and people are hooting and hollering and cheering people on. And so we allowed the public onto this, this closed set so they could watch this and basically create that real environment that a true Corbett's Day embodies. This definitely gives you Elvis legs. A lot of peer pressure. <laughs> Logistically, this shoot was really challenging because we wanted to have these TGR athletes go big into Corbett's and these guys are going off the nose 30 to 50 feet. That requires really good snow conditions. We started working with the Jackson Hole Mountain Resort, so we planned basically to close Corbett's down when we saw a big storm coming and try and open it up when it was Bluebird. I woke up at six o'clock this morning, looked outside, full blue, and that's when I hit the panic button. Immediately texted and called everybody in the crew. Got like 10 athletes and 10 camera people up here for the 824 tramp. For the Corbett session, we shot on the Red Epic and Scarlet. We had a RC helicopter with a camera on it. We had a few different cine sliders. We had a Kessler crane. We had a cameraman rappel down inside the cool war to get a really cool opposing angle. Did you both start down? TC, look up. Yeah. Ah, the things we do for shots. We wanted to bring a level of production uh, that Corbett's hasn't seen. This is a show. I don't know if Corbett's has ever witnessed a show like this. It's a good day to be in Wyoming, I think. The old trusty snowball test to see what the snow's like. It doesn't matter if you're the best pro skier in the world or you're visiting Jackson Hole for the first time. If you stand on top of Corbett's Coulard and you look down the thing, you get butterflies in your stomach. And watching somebody actually go through that process and commit to Corbett's is infectious energy. Spriggs and I haven't hit this before, so uh, we're both gonna try to do some tricks into it. So. But we have to go first. We're guineaing it. Briggs' first backflip into it at like 9.30 in the morning was just total face melter. And from there, it just escalated really. People just sending stuff that never, never goes. So I'm up next and better do something sick. <laughs> I don't know if he's nervous, but he probably should be. <laughs> yeah, okay. You ready to jump off Corbis? Yeah. <laughs> This just went huge, probably bigger than anyone's gone today. The rest of the day I pretty much blacked out. You know, we just kept hitting it. I think we hit it three or four more times and we had the whole setup, we had tons of people cheering. That's going to be hard to stop, I think. <laughs> there are 10 lines that were all time today, not just one. It was maybe one of the rowdiest sessions I've ever been part of. It was awesome. I'll remember this day for the rest of my life, for sure. <laughs>